Hey Darkroom Core users, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this video, it's it's going to be complicated. It it on the uh, chili meter of complexity, it's spicy. Um, what we're going to be doing is outputting to a folder that's automatically FTP uploading to a website and then also printing at the same time with a QR code with a web address to a file that is not quite there yet that should all sync up and happen within a couple seconds of each other all kind of automatically um, it does require a little bit of FTP knowledge and some HTML just basic stuff but uh, if you don't get it don't feel too bad it is a little bit more difficult um, and a lot of this does require a little bit of knowledge uh, information that you'll have to get from your web host provider um, but with that being said let's go ahead and jump right in and uh, see what we're talking about I'm gonna go ahead and take a little picture of my buddy here and it's gonna transfer wirelessly with a hot folder camera and then it's going to auto print to DX100 and while it's doing that it's also saving to a posted uh, folder so if I open up my camera app on my phone as soon as it comes out Tap to download my image. Okay, to get a little idea of some of the moving parts that we're working with, I've put together this little illustration. So you're the photographer and you've just photographed uh, your client and you get a printout that includes a QR code that the client's then supposed to scan to download an image from your website that has just been placed on your website. So there's a few different things that are happening all at once. And the idea is that it'll take a couple seconds to print the file and it'll also take a couple seconds for it to move to your website. Let's go ahead and start by looking at Darkroom and seeing how the output is set up for uh, both the the print and the uploading file. Okay, so here we are in Darkroom. Let's go ahead and uh, see how that auto print package is set up and then we'll uh, look at the template and also build it as a package. But we're under capture options, tethered capture, then we'll go to auto print and we have a 4 by 8 print with a template being applied to it and then we also have uh, a digital media saving a file to a folder on my C drive C slash I host um, and I use the I host folder just because I couldn't use gallery but really this folder can be named anything as long as you know what it's going to be named on your web server um, so we'll go ahead and click cancel because we didn't make any changes there let's look at the template here we are and this is just a normal well the the template is built for a 4 by 8 the image uh, node here is 4 by 6 so it's just normal 4 by 6 print with some extra stuff and then when they re receive it they can either cut this off with some scissors or fold it and put it into a frame but it has this uh, extra advertisement space and this QR code that is set to go to my website slash iHost that's the subfolder I'm putting in and then um, it's gonna add the file name and I'm using file name short because uh, the uh, QR code was giving me dot JPG in capitals in my web server uh, it has to match exactly for um, the uppercase or lowercase so uh, you may be able to get away with using 
file and you want to make sure it does not add a space because that will uh, break the link but I used file name short remove that space dot jpg so that it works on my web server and click OK and then we'll go ahead and cancel because once again we didn't make any changes and I'll try to have this template available online or a version of that template that you can download and use yourself so let's go to our package groups we'll create a new package call it QR just to keep it simple and then quick print and that's okay we're gonna click local print item select our 4x8 print double click on it and then uh, add our template so it's gonna print a 4x8 template or a 4x8 print with this template we just looked at the next thing we're gonna click add local print item and go down to digital delivery digital media and then we're going to make sure the output destination is going to our C drive and then I put it in iHost. So when we go to um, our and uh, go to darkroom and we click this package it should save this image to that folder and also print out a 4x8. We'll go ahead and click on that and then go to our C drive and there it is there's a previous test that I did so it just copied that image in there and from there our FTP software is then gonna take over sync it up send it to our server we'll go ahead and switch over to that and so you can see how that's done okay so uh, before we continue I just want to be honest there is a part that I am skipping over and the reason for that is because it's specific to your uh, web hosting. You'll want to contact uh, your web hosting support so they can help you out with this. But you'll want to create an FTP user on your website uh, and then take those credentials and log into the software that I'm about to show you. And um, so I'm going to skip some of that because it has some personal information in it and also it is very specific to my web hosting so each one's going to be different but now that we're actually logged in I'm using a software called WinSCP um, we're going to uh, log into our FTP account and make sure that sync in and files are moving there um, but uh, what we want to do is go to commands keep remote directory up to date and I have it set to grab from my C drive in a folder called iHost and move to that same folder. And the reason why I'm using iHost is for image host, uh, and that's because I'm already using a folder called gallery for something else. Um, so we'll go ahead and start it. It'll give me so, uh, a question. I'm gonna go ahead and click no. I don't have any files to synchronize or already in the folder directory, so no. Um, but uh, we'll scoot this out of the way so we can see what we're doing. So this folder right here is the same as this folder. When we drop an image here, it should show up here, and then it will automatically sync up my remote folder with this file. So we'll go ahead and try that out. It sees that image, it's now sending. It'll take a couple seconds. It's about a four megabyte file. So now it's copied it from my local folder to my remote folder that's on my web, uh, essentially my website. So um, in my web browser, I'm gonna go to my website slash iHost, but uh, that folder might be different for you. And then I'm gonna type in one.jpg. And the reason why I used one.jpg, it's very simple. I'm not gonna misspell anything. Um, it's a good test, uh, initial test, to do something that simple. We'll click enter, and it should pull up this image. Now we're looking at it on my, from my website. So if I drag in another image and type it in here, it should work. The next step would be to go to Darkroom, output from Darkroom to this folder that will automatically sync up, 
and then type in the file name that Darkroom's outputting and make sure that's working. And then if that's all working, then try scanning the QR code. If for some reason it doesn't match up, look at uh, the actual path and compare the one that uh, you're scanning to the one that you typed in and see if there are any variations. If there are, uh, try to minimize those so whatever the QR code has is exactly what you would be typing in. Uh, capitalization does sometimes matter. So I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.